Arjun was playing cards with his friends at night time. His friend Vishal was however getting nervous, seeing his friend staking all of his money in each turn. Soon the game tensed up as Arjun had staked all of his money on the bet, and on the other hand, his opponent revealed his cards which were sure to get him a win. Arjun was still looking confident and revealed two of his cards. Arjun threw great cards one after the other which stunned everyone at the table. But he needed a queen to win the gamble. Unfortunately, the last card was a joker. His opponent laughed at Arjun as he took all of his money for himself. The next morning the two friends, Arjun and Vishal were in a taxi without a single penny left on them. Despite his condition, Arjun didn't seem to be bothered at all. Vishal complained about his behavior to the taxi driver, saying that they could have easily won thousands of bucks if it wasn't for Arjun's stubbornness. Arjun, who was riding in the backseat of the vehicle, advised his friend that all he needed to restore his luck was a great woman in his life. Later the same day, Vishal and Arjun were talking with the shopkeeper to sell their product to him, when suddenly someone caught Arjun's eye. She was a beautiful girl in a shop and Arjun was completely lost looking at her. He left his friend and went behind the unknown girl. She later stopped at a jewelry shop and was looking at a beautiful diamond ring. When Arjun saw that the girl wanted the ring, he went into the store and broke the display window for it without thinking twice. The girl and everybody in the mall were startled by the alarms that went off because of it. The guards took Arjun away with force but the man was still lost in his thoughts. He kept asking the girl for her name in the midst of the commotion to which she finally replied that her name was Soya. Later in the police station, the ACP, Shekhar was interrogating Arjun and he mentioned to him how he fell in love with this girl he just met at the mall. Shekhar and the constable laughed at Arjun's stupidity for a girl he only saw once, and let him off the hook for now saying that he had great respect for Arjun's father. As Arjun left the room, the ACP advised the young man to not abuse the reputation of his father. When the two friends emerged from the police station, a man outside told them that Patel was waiting for them in his car. Patel was a local don from whom Arjun and Vishal had lent money. He invited the two over with him to an apartment. Three barged in the door ignoring the lady at home, and Patel started yelling to find the man hiding. He then found the man hiding in the closet and gave him a horrible beating in front of the two young men, who were simply watching Patel beat the helpless old man. In the elevator, Arjun told Patel that he understood why he brought the two here, to give them a trailer of what will happen if they don't pay him back in time, and assured him that he will pay Patel in the next days, and quite soon. Later that day, in Vishal's home, he unwillingly gave Arjun the last of the money he had saved, with the condition that he return it to him with a healthy profit. With the cash in hand, Arjun headed to the barbershop where his regular cab driver and many other people were watching the cricket game on television. He predicted that their team will lose today, but the driver disagreed. The squad lost their game shortly after Arjun's prediction came true, shocking everyone in the shop. Shortly after, the driver suggested that Arjun should try his luck in gambling over cricket matches rather than waste his time and money playing cards. At first, Arjun didn't pay much attention to him, but then all of a sudden, something caught his attention. He saw the same girl from the mall inside a car, and asked the driver to follow her after which he found her residence. Something then came up to his mind as he looked at the money he had in his pocket. Arjun went to the mall once again and bought the same ring for Zoya. Later at Zoya's residence while she was watching the television with her friends, the girls freaked out noticing the man climbing their balcony. Zoya revealed that he was the crazy guy from the mall and was very surprised to see that he found her address. After climbing up her balcony Arjun gave her the ring that he bought for her, seeing that, the girls there were very surprised. Zoya wore his ring once upon his request, however, wasn't ready to accept it for now. She told him that she will accept his ring when she will feel like it, and asked him to leave after which Arjun climbed down the balcony and asked for her number. The young man left after Zoya teased him by remarking that if he reached her house, he could probably find her phone number on his own. While he left Zoya's place his phone rang and it was Patel on the call. Now that he had spent Vishal's money on the ring, Arjun cuts his call and on the other side, Patel ordered his men to go after Arjun to teach him a lesson. The next day when Zoya was working at her call center, she was surprised to hear Arjun's voice on the other side. She wasn't expecting that he would actually find her number. However, Zoya told Arjun that she was currently working, and that if he wished to talk to her he has to buy something from her. Arjun without giving it a second thought bought everything she has to offer with his credit cards, throwing them one by one to the side. The entire office was surprised to see Zoya getting purchases after purchases. The next day, Zoya complained to Arjun that he went too far this time, and asked him how he was going to pay for the products. He brushed her answer off saying that he doesn't know and will figure it out later. He kept asking her out for a date to a coffee shop, but Zoya rejected his offer saying that she was only allowed to travel in the vehicle offered by the call center for the workers that didn't have one for themselves. Hearing this Arjun now wished to buy a car. When he revealed his thought of buying a car for himself to Vishal, he mocked Arjun for his stupid idea when the two were interrupted by Patel. 
Vishal was terrified knowing that Arjun did not give Patel the money they were supposed to pay. Arjun on the other hand calmed Patel down and took him inside a restaurant. Patel made it very clear to both of them that he wanted his money now, without further delay. Arjun noticed that the diners were betting on the ongoing cricket match, as Vishal was attempting to convince Patel to grant them a few more days to pay him back. He came up with an idea and requested Patel to fulfill his last wish to gamble at the restaurant. Arjun claimed that he will pay Patel four times his money and if he fails he will accept his fate. After Patel accepted his offer, the party sat down at the table and began placing bets on the match. Arjun continued to multiply his money by accurately predicting each move. He eventually had enough money to make a profit and repay Patel and Vishal. The party was thrilled to see their money return with a profit, but Arjun said that he still wanted to buy the car for Zoya, and placed one final gamble on his team's victory even though the team was already losing, and had almost no chances of winning. Arjun and others watched the match with their hearts pounding as each ball was played. Finally, the Indian team triumphed the match, and Arjun's prediction came true and the group cheered for his luck. After that, Arjun headed directly to Zoya's workplace to surprise her with the new car he had bought for her. He picked her up in his car, took her for dates, and the two began to fall in love over time. Arjun continued to gamble and make money, eventually becoming extremely wealthy, and enjoying a brand new lifestyle in his mansion. One day, his father paid a visit to his brand new home. However, instead of praising him for his success, Arjun's father kept taunting him for spending money on such luxuries, and even remarked that he had spent his entire life chasing after money at the dinner table with Soya. His father questioned Arjun about the type of business he was involved in, and said that the only way he could have made so much money so quickly was by engaging in illegal activity. Arjun, however, responded by making up a story about running a cricket company, and managing imports and exports of cricket equipment. When Arjun got up from the table, his father called Zoya to him and warned her that Arjun had a history of lying, and had caused him and his mother a great deal of pain because of it. Before leaving the house, he asked Zoya to make an effort to truly change him for the good. While Arjun was in his car on the way to her house, Zoya opened up to him about her difficult childhood, about how she came to Mumbai for her dancing career, which didn't go as well as she had hoped, and how she struggled to make ends meet after her parents separated when she was quite young. She narrated her thoughts before asking Arjun about his. Arjun became furious after noticing her strange behavior, and yelled that she must have trusted what his father had told her about him. He began yelling that his father was jealous of his success and had never been happy with him. He made it clear to her that he only managed a sports business, which wasn't doing as well as it had been before she came into his life, hence the reason for his success. Zoya calmed him down, telling him that she had faith in Arjun. However, she also made it very clear that she had complete faith in Arjun, and the day she will lose faith in him, their relationship will also end in the conclusion. After that, they both gave each other hugs, although Arjun was a little uneasy about what she had said to him. The following day, Vishal came up to Arjun and his staff, and warned them that the cops were ready to raid their room. While they were busy taking calls from gamblers all over the world, the group shifted their gear quickly and pretended to be having an enjoyable time. The police entered their room and thoroughly searched it, but they were unable to uncover any evidence related to gambling from the hotel room. However, the ACP was very certain that Arjun was responsible for managing the apartment's gambling operation. The policeman cautioned Arjun about the risks involved with the business he was engaging in, and tried to make get him to realize what his father and Zoya will think if he is caught out. After Shekhar left, Vishal also remarked that the illegal business will only cause issues down the road. Arjun nevertheless assured his friend that he was still motivated to grow in this trade, despite the ACP's and his friend's cautions. The two were about to begin setting up when two black guys unexpectedly entered the room, asked about Arjun, and then flew the young man to their boss on a private jet to South Africa. Arjun now found himself at a cricket field, where an aged man in a white suit was sipping on a drink and watching the match. The strange man gestured for Arjun to step forward and said he was interested in seeing Arjun, who was making rapid progress in the gambling industry. He then questioned Arjun about his ability to predict, to which Arjun responded that he was simply lucky and that his predictions were generally accurate. The man was amused by his response and asked him to predict the upcoming game. Arjun predicted that the team bowling would win and the team batting would lose. When he heard this, the man in the coat grew nervous, as he pondered upon the millions he would lose if Arjun's predictions came true. However, the young man had another idea, he said that the man could save his money if he managed to bribe the captain of the other team to lose the game. Arjun snuck inside the locker area where the team captain was present. The player was shocked to see Arjun there and asked about his name. Although he didn't respond to his question, Arjun continues by saying that he will have to work hard for money as he ages. Arjun offered him a handsome amount of money and expensive gifts, if he loses the match and leaves the player to decide in the room. When Arjun returned from the room and he sat down with the strange man and urged him to set the stakes as high as possible for maximum profit. The old man and his men watched the game from a distance while clenching their teeth in worry, while Arjun sat calmly and watched the game. As the captain completed a century without showing any signs of losing, the game became increasingly fierce for the two. 
However, the captain intentionally missed his last ball, which caused his team to lose the game. The man expressed his joy at his team's victory and praised Arjun for his fearless attitude. He told Arjun that he will only succeed going forward but also mentioned that once he gets involved in this business there is no going back to his normal life. He offered Arjun to work under him in South Africa which he very readily agreed to, and soon went back to India to bring Zoya with him. In South Africa, Arjun invited Zoya along, and the two settled in his luxurious villa. But although Arjun's friendship with Abu Ibrahim became stronger and his business success flourished, his relationship with Zoya was not doing very well. Arjun was unable to pay her enough attention and occasionally had to end her calls while she was at work, which upset Zoya very much who spent her days only shopping and waiting for Arjun to be back home. Meanwhile, ACP Shekhar was contacted by South African local authorities to fly there and investigate a matter that involved Arjun in some way. Shekhar was taken aback when he arrived by plane to see that Arjun was communicating with Abu Ibrahim while he viewed his images on the widescreen. However, one day when Arjun wasn't at home, Zoya answered the doorbell to see a police officer waiting for her. He asked for her permission before entering and made a comment about Arjun's wealth, which was visible from the luxurious mansion. He spoke with Zoya about her knowledge of Arjun's illegal activities and connections to the criminal underground. However, the lady explained to him that Arjun simply operated an import and export company, and that she was unaware of anything illegal. But when the officer showed her several images of Arjun interacting with the mafia, she was startled. Additionally, he said that the money Arjun received was actively being used by the mafia to finance the illegal organizations. Upon hearing the truth behind Arjun's wealth, Zoya was completely wrecked and couldn't believe what the ACP revealed. The same night, when Arjun reached home he found all of Zoya's clothes on the ground and her standing by the windows. He asked her the reason behind the state of their home, to which she replied that we'll never wear any of these clothes. She added that the clothes on the floor, the house, and everything Arjun owned were stained with the blood of the innocent. Zoya revealed that a CP Shekhar had visited their residence and showed her Arjun's pictures with Abu Ibrahim, who was a very dangerous man who had many illegal businesses. Arjun never thought Zoya would catch on to his lie, but she kept asking him whether he really did work for Abu, and how did he earn his fortune? Arjun became enraged with her and said that everything the policeman had told her about him was a lie, and that everyone was conspiring to ruin him because they were jealous of his success. He stormed out of his house furiously, leaving Zoya alone in the mansion. Later in his car, he tried to call Zoya but she wasn't picking up his calls, and instead was talking to Arjun's father. His father cried to the young lady that he already expected that Arjun must be involved in some illegal activity, and advised Zoya to do the right thing, and leave Arjun for good if she couldn't change him into a better person. Zoya carefully listened to him and started to ponder upon something, when suddenly her phone rang again and this time it was Vishal on the line. Zoya picked the call up, however to her surprise it was Arjun that was talking from the other side. Arjun apologized for his actions and yelled rudely at her, and requested her to come and meet him once and listen to his side of the story. Zoya agreed to his request and cut the call, after which Vishal confronted his friend, mentioning that he warned Arjun if Zoya ever came to know about his illegal business. Arjun was, however, fairly confident that by tomorrow her anger would have gone, and he would then apologize to her for lying to her. The next day Arjun visited a restaurant where Zoya was already seated. He took a seat in front of her and swiftly took out the diamond ring from his pocket, asking Zoya to marry him, so that they can continue with their quarrel after getting married. Despite his requests, Zoya told him that if she ever got married to Arjun she would want to know what her husband did for a living. Arjun was convinced by this and told her everything about his illegal gambling and match-fixing business, which helped him earn a such good fortune. Zoya mentioned that whatever he was doing was wrong and told him that Abu used his money from gambling to buy weapons and arms for many illegal organizations. However, Arjun was least concerned with this, even stating that all he cared about was that he did a job for Abu, and that paid him a good amount. Zoya was surprised and sad to hear Arjun say such words, when suddenly several men including ACP Shekhar seated in the restaurant got up and pointed their guns at Arjun. Arjun was very surprised but soon realized that it was Zoya who sold him out to the police. He never imagined that Zoya will be the one to help the police catch him as he struggled. Shekhar approached Zoya while she was standing by the ocean view not long after Arjun was taken into custody. She was no longer safe in this nation, he said, and Abu Ibrahim's soldiers must be looking for her. Zoya was absolutely helpless in this new country without a permit or employment. Shekhar tried to help by giving her some cash and a ticket back to India, but Zoya declined and walked away from the officer, saying she can take care of herself and did not need his assistance. Meanwhile, Ibrahim was very stressed because of his losses in the business, but he saw an opportunity in the upcoming Cricket World Cup which could help him recover all his profits. He ordered his men to bail Arjun out of police custody and tell him to get to work immediately. As per Abu's orders, Arjun was now a free man and was released from jail. 
He once again ran into Shekar, who advised him to come with him, and that he could help Arjun to run from the future, where only death awaits. But Arjun disregarded his warnings, and walked away from the building to find his old friend Vishal waiting for him outside in a car. They were in the car, and Arjun was still pondering about Soya. Shakil noticed this and broke the tension in the car by saying that Soya was the target of Abu's fury and that he had only spared her life because she was Arjun's girlfriend. He continued by saying that she had taken advantage of Arjun and that he must move past her. Arjun got out of the car with Vishal, because he couldn't stand to hear Shakil talk poorly about Soya. Nonetheless, Shakil warned Arjun about the girl and cautioned him not to get himself arrested again because of her. The two friends were then walking on the streets, when Arjun asked Vishal about Soya's whereabouts. Vishal revealed that he was not in contact with the girl and had no idea where she was or could be. He suggested Arjun be focused on the upcoming cricket matches and the job given by Abu. But Arjun was not ready to forget and move on from Soya. He looked around for her in the streets having nothing but a picture of her on him and even called Zoya's friends from India if she was back there. Meanwhile, Shekhar had already informed Zoya about Arjun's bail and warned her that he and his men will come looking for her, advising her to stay hidden. Unfortunately despite all his efforts, Arjun was still unable to find any clue about Zoya, or her whereabouts and was then summoned by Shakil for an important discussion at the stadium. According to Shakil, Abu was becoming increasingly upset with Arjun, and had even given orders to his men to execute Soya when they catch her. Shakil assured Arjun that he will find his girlfriend and deliver her to him safe and sound, telling him to go and negotiate terms with another cricket team captain, who was in the midst of a training session. Arjun approached the outstanding player and made the usual offer of money and luxuries in exchange for vital knowledge about his team's game plan. The athlete, however, turned down his offer since he was more interested in something else. When Arjun saw that the cricketer was showing interest in the girls who were practicing on the field, he made the choice to take him to a renowned club to see the lovely dancers perform. Arjun, however, was taken speechless when he witnessed Soya dancing on stage for money at the club. He met Soya afterward alone in the basement and asked her why did she get him arrested, and if it was all only for money. Soya replied that she loved him with all her heart and was willing to get him arrested, if that was the price to turn him into a better man. She said that she was working at the club to save enough money for the two of them to begin a new life after Arjun was released from prison. After realizing how much suffering he had caused Soya, Arjun embraced her and the two shared a tight hug. The following day, as the two slept exposed to one another, Arjun made a promise to change for Zoya's sake. After that day, Arjun stopped all contact with Abu and his men, and applied for a job as a bartender at a place paying a decent wage. Arjun fought the urge to occasionally return to his former business to make more money, but the two spent their time together happily which helped the man to keep his mind off those things. While ACP Shekhar was relieved to see no unlawful activity from Arjun, Shakil notified Abu about Arjun's change and indicated that he was no longer willing to work for him. Hearing this he decided to pay Arjun a visit at his place. The very following day, when Arjun went to his house, he discovered Abu already seated there. Insisting that Soya would be furious with him if she saw Abu here with Arjun, Arjun informed Abu that he was no longer willing to work for him and requested him to leave the house. Abu on the other hand couldn't care less and instead took Arjun to a luxurious mansion with him. He pointed out the various luxuries of the establishment and told Arjun that all this could be his, if he helped Abu one last time in the upcoming World Cup. Arjun gave in to his desires when he realized the fantastic opportunity that was presented to him and decided to assist him one last time. Arjun sat at the dining table after getting back home, when he glanced at a paper that was laid out on the table. It was a pregnancy report, stating that Soya was pregnant. As Soya came into the living room Arjun was overjoyed to find out about the great news and so was Soya. However, Arjun's cell phone rang, looking at which he excused Soya and went to a corner to talk to the person on the phone. He found that it was Shakil on the phone and the two talked, before Arjun cut the call telling him not to call on this number as Soya might find out about it. When Arjun turned his back he found Zoya right behind him breaking into tears. She heard everything he said on the phone and walked away from Arjun yelling in anger. Arjun tried convincing her that he was not doing anything wrong, that he was only good at this job and was doing it for the couple's future. Zoya got extremely furious hearing this saying that Arjun did the gambling for himself and not for anyone else, that he was addicted and sick with it. Zoya mentioned that she loved him very much and was scared that someone will harm him. Arjun yelled once again that was not doing anything dangerous that would put a threat on his life, but she was not ready to listen to his excuses anymore. Zoya then pushed him outside the apartment and closed the door, leaving that man outside pleading to her to let him inside. Following that, Arjun headed with Vishal to the location where Shakil was waiting for him. Vishal pleaded with Arjun to leave Abu's job and return to India with Zoya, and their child to lead a happy life. Arjun chucked over his request, as he commented about how his parents were never able to get him any toys when he was a child, and said that he was working so hard because he didn't want his child to grow up in hardship like him, and only wanted the best for him. 
He left his friend in the car and reached the premises, where Shaquille was waiting for him to arrange a match between the cricketers he had a prior arrangement with already. When the player, his squad, and coach came, Arjun was preoccupied with the diamond engagement ring he intended to give Zoya. Arjun gestured for the player to meet him in a different room with Shaquille. The team's coach, who had been standing next to him the entire time, saw Arjun's motions and made the decision to follow the three. When the coach entered the room, he found that the three were discussing the secrets of the team with each other and exchanging huge piles of money. Shaquille quickly pulled out his revolver and threatened to shoot the coach if he did not quiet down. Arjun tried to talk his way out of the situation when he saw Shaquille carrying a gun. However, the coach raced to the gun and in the struggle with Arjun getting shot in the process. Hearing the commotion, police also arrived at the situation and arrested Shaquille on the spot. But Arjun dashed his way out of the building. He ran from the building and tried hiding in the streets as he called Vishal to come to help him. However, police soon caught up to him, and Shekhar shot a bullet in Arjun's shoulder. Fortunately, Vishal arrived at the spot and escorted Arjun from the police. Vishal was very worried about Arjun and advised him to go to a hospital with him to treat his wound. But Arjun insisted on seeing Zoya, and requested him to drive him there. In his message to Zoya, he expressed his desire to meet her as soon as possible, and provided her with a meeting spot. When Arjun cut them off, news of Arjun's murder of a cricket coach was broadcast on the restaurant TV, which left Zoya feeling very worried. Vishal and Arjun arrived at the location, where Zoya was waiting for them after managing to escape the police cars that were after them. Zoya started crying when she noticed Arjun covered in blood. He insisted on taking her with him, stating he had a lot of money with him at the moment and the police were coming for him. But when Zoya questioned him about whether or not he truly shot the coach, Arjun replied honestly that everything had happened by accident. He was frightened since the cops were still following him, and began pleading with Zoya to run away with him so that the cops wouldn't catch him. Shekhar accompanied by several foreign officers stood there pointing their guns at Arjun and asked him to drop his gun and surrender. At Zoya's request, Arjun held his hands up and dropped his gun to the ground. But in addition to the revolver, his ring also came loose from his pocket. The police opened fire on Arjun as soon as he bowed down to pick up his treasured ring from the ground, executing the innocent man. Zoya was terrified of the scene and screamed at the police officers for shooting at him. As Arjun lay motionless on the ground and gave her the ring for the final time, Zoya continued to cry over his lifeless body. Many years later, Zoya's son was pleading with her for a toy, while they were both at the mall. But the young child admitted that he no longer desired the toy, after seeing his mother's lack of resources. When Zoya saw this, she was extremely proud of her son, and the two carried on with their lives while Zoya continued to wear Arjun's ring as a memorial to her love for him. 